CandyCor has just introduced a new line of decorative zippers where both the tape and the coils are decorated and they are designed to show. I want to show you a method of inserting the zipper into a garment where you don't have a seam allowance open and where you can then go ahead and do it for a decorative purpose. I'm going to start by marking where the center opening for my zipper is. Now I've used a Sharpie here so that you can see it. I would normally use either an air soluble or water soluble marker or chalk, but you can use whatever method you like. I am also going to take a piece of interfacing, very important, non-fusible, and I'm going to mark both the center of the zipper and I'm going to mark my stitching lines, which really need to be about three eighths of an inch away from the center. I'm going to line my centers up and then stitch. And so I have stitched all around where my opening is going to be. The next step is going to be to cut right on that seam, that line here, and then cut the two diagonals going all the way to the corner but not clipping the stitching. Press the interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric. So you are left with a window opening like this. Here is the wrong side where you can see all the marks. I'm then going to place my zipper into the hole, marking the, starting at the center bottom and working my way up. You are going to have just about an eighth of an inch of zipper tape underneath where I have pinned. And then top stitch in place. That's all you need to do. This is something ideal to put in the placket of a t-shirt. This is something fun to put in a bottom of a pair of pants. Something that could go in at the bottom of a sleeve of a jacket. Just a fun application. For those of you who would like to use this for a pocket, you're going to make, get this one back, your window opening look like this, as if you were doing a welt pocket turn it to the wrong side, and then pin your zipper in place. I hope you'll try this fun technique.